What is asbestos? Asbestos is a naturally occurring mineral composed of flexible fibers that are resistant to heat, electricity, and corrosion. These qualities make the mineral useful, but they also make asbestos exposure highly toxic. This topic was requested by our viewer Rai Luna. Thank you Rai. If you want to know more about another topic, let us know in the comments below. And we will do our best to help you. Before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and smash that like button that will help a lot. We can find much more safety information in our channel and in our site hsebox.com. Thank you. Asbestos was widely used in construction as an effective insulator, and it can be added to cloth, paper, cement, plastic, and other materials to make them stronger. But when asbestos dust is inhaled or ingested, the fibers can become permanently trapped in the body. Over decades, trapped asbestos fibers can cause inflammation, scarring, and eventually genetic damage. Consumers might wonder how dangerous asbestos is. Unfortunately, exposure to asbestos can cause cancer and other health conditions. A rare and aggressive cancer called mesothelioma is almost exclusively caused by asbestos exposure. Asbestos also causes a progressive lung disease called asbestosis. Types of Asbestos The Asbestos Hazard Emergency Response Act of 1986 legally recognizes six types of asbestos that fall into two categories, amphibole and serpentine. Amphibole Asbestos Amphibole asbestos fibers have a straight, jagged shape. There are five recognized types. Crossitolite Amazin Anthophilite Trimolite and Actinolite Serpentine asbestos Serpentine asbestos fibers are curly. There is only one kind, Chrysotile, which is also known as white asbestos. Asbestos-related diseases Scientific studies show exposure to asbestos is linked to several diseases, including cancers. Mesothelioma is a type of cancer almost exclusively caused by asbestos exposure. The mineral also causes asbestos-related lung cancer, ovarian cancer, and laryngeal cancer. Other asbestos-related diseases include Asbestosis Pleural effusions Pleural plaques Pleuritis Diffuse pleural thickening Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD Asbestos exposure risks No amount of asbestos exposure is safe but asbestos generally has the worst effects when a person is exposed to an intense concentration of it, or they are exposed on a regular basis over a long period of time. Asbestos accumulates in the body with every exposure, and there is no known way to reverse the damage it causes. Fibers are easily inhaled once they become airborne. It is important to avoid disturbing products that may contain asbestos. Additionally, People who live near naturally occurring asbestos deposits should avoid disturbing soil that may be contaminated. The majority of patients with asbestos-related diseases are men in their 60s or older. This is because asbestos-related diseases have a long latency period, often taking decades to develop. They usually trace back to occupational exposure at workplaces historically staffed by men. How to identify asbestos products? Microscopic asbestos fibers cannot be seen, smelled, or tasted. Unless it is clearly marked as asbestos, the only way to detect asbestos in unmarked material is to send a sample to a lab for testing or hire an accredited asbestos inspector. Asbestos materials fall into two risk categories. Friable asbestos materials and non-friable asbestos materials. Regarding friable asbestos materials, Friable asbestos materials are easy to break or crumble by hand. 
Examples include old asbestos pipe insulation and talcum powder contaminated with asbestos. These materials are dangerous because they can easily release toxic dust into the air. Non-friable asbestos materials Non-friable asbestos materials, such as asbestos cement slabs and vinyl asbestos tiles, are durable. These products keep asbestos fibers safely trapped as long as the products are undisturbed. Sawing, scraping, or smashing the product may release fibers. Tips for safely handling asbestos Some situations require the removal of asbestos-containing materials but it may be safer to leave the materials undisturbed or encapsulate them with a sealant. Consult a certified asbestos abatement professional for the best advice. Some jurisdictions allow homeowners to remove asbestos materials on their own. Some other jurisdictions and countries required a certified company to remove asbestos. Be aware of what is the legislation applies to your country regarding asbestos. If you are considering DIY asbestos abatement, remember the following precautions. Seal off the work area with plastic sheets and turn off the air conditioning. Wear a respirator with a high efficiency particulate air HEPA, filter. Wear disposable coveralls and gloves during asbestos abatement. Use a pump sprayer to keep asbestos materials wet and suppress dust at all times. Clean the work area with wet wipes or a vacuum cleaner with a HEPA filter. Dispose of asbestos waste in clearly labeled bags at a landfill that can accept asbestos. Safe alternative to asbestos Since the 1980s, manufacturers in the United States have largely phased out the use of asbestos, relying instead on several safer substitutes. Polyurethane foam Polyurethane foam is cheap and effective for insulation. Construction workers can easily apply spray polyurethane foam to insulate and seal. Amorphous silica fabric Amorphous silica fabric is a high-quality cloth woven from nearly pure amorphous silica fibers. Like asbestos, the fibers do not rot or burn. Cellulose fiber Cellulose fiber is typically made from cotton, wood pulp, linen, or shredded paper that is chemically treated to enhance its properties. Thermoset plastic flour Thermoset plastic flour is made of a mixture of wood fibers and binders, such as egg or gelatin, which is hardened and then finely ground. What do I need to know about asbestos and diseases such as mesothelioma? Asbestos refers to a group of fibrous minerals used to strengthen and fireproof materials. When inhaled over long periods of time, Asbestos fibers become trapped in the body and cause diseases such as mesothelioma, lung cancer, and asbestosis. More than 50 other countries have banned the use of asbestos, but its use remains legal in the U.S. after a complicated history of legislation and regulation. Hiring an asbestos abatement company to remove asbestos from residential and commercial buildings is the safest decision to keep yourself and others safe. Compensation is available for those who have been exposed to asbestos. We hope this video helps you to understand better what is asbestos. You can also see our video with questions and answer about asbestos. Don't forget to check our channel for more health and safety topics. See you soon. Never forget safety is everyone's responsibility. Stay always safe. Bye-bye.